all right the next one this one's fucking nuts but um i've been playing if you've been following our channel and probably by the time this video comes out there will be even more i've managed to beat resident evil 2 remake absolutely love the game try and talk this a-hole back into getting it i'll get it eventually but uh <clears throat> somebody dizzy zitty uh posted on twitter and i don't know if he was he or, he or she i can't even tell if it's a guy or girl um, it's got a waifu as the avatar so so <clears throat> they figured out that the resident Evil 2 knife damage was time to frame rate on the pc version on the obviously pc but Essentially, the higher the frame rate, the more damage you did. The more damage you did, because at 60 frames per second, uh, with 45 slashes, you were able to kill G1, and at 180 frames per second, you could kill him in 25. So, basically, the quicker your frame rate, the faster you could use the knife. That's interesting. I mean, I guess anything that requires an animation like that, it makes sense if you think about it. It's just funny to me because um, Kit, he's the one who showed us yeah. this. So thanks for showing us this, by thanks, the way. Thanks, bud. And he said, like, do you think this is something they did on purpose? And my response was, why? No, no they wouldn't have the, done it on like, purpose. Like, the, the thing would be who benefits. Like, it, it's, it just seems like it's a weird programming glitch that just got in there. Yeah, I think the way, I mean, and... and just think about from the way if you're uh, a coder or someone who's making the game, you know, you, 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 whether they coded it at 60 frames per second, 30, for, I assume 60, but it, you know, th that was probably their basis, like 60 frames per second, whatever it does at 60, that's what you're supposed to do, which is 45 slashes. Then somebody has a PC that's running this shit at 180 frames, which is insane. And yeah, you're, you know, you're doing not what's three times the amount, which doesn't fully translate to three times less the amount of slashes. You're just doing everything a lot faster. So you're you're knifing them a lot faster. So it makes sense from an animation standpoint and the amount of frames you're hitting it. It just makes sense. I'm sure if you could run old NES games, some of the things that people have timed down all the frames of how you do jumps, how you do attacks, it would be the same situation. You're just speeding it up at a rate that it wasn't meant to be played at. So it's a very, I, I, I actually saw this independent of <coughs> Jim putting this here because I follow a lot of shit about Resident Evil 2 and this was a big news story. I just was like, who the fuck is going after G? And if you don't know G, that's William Birkin in his first form. Mm -hmm. Scared the shit out of me because if you remember the original game, it's a, the sequence is a little different. And I was actually at a point where like I had barely any ammo. Who the fuck? I don't know who fights him with just a knife. Now, there is a way to get... The, Thank God for the internet. There is a way to get the knife with unlimited durability, because it's not like the knife you think of in Resident Evil, the other Resident Evils, where it just lasts forever. It only has so much usefulness. So if you uh, break a bunch of these statues, you unlock the unlimited durability knife. But who, whoever did that, hey, congrats to you. That's what I was more like. You're not... <laughs> You're an asshole, unless you're playing as Tofu, and that's the way you're doing it. But, yeah, thank you, Kit. I do appreciate you saying that, because you know my love for Resident Evil 2, and maybe we can talk. Yeah, I mean, I, these are the kind of reports I just see, and I just go, who has the goddamn time to stumble on this crap? This is the same shit, though, when you... Re if you, when you were a kid, you heard about some crazy glitch. Like, I was always amazed by those kids that, like, found an unnecessary glitch in a game because they just you could tell the amount of time i love that people are still that invested in this but i'm curious at the type of player that if you pick up a game like if that is your drive you're like i'm gonna find this thing about yeah. this game i'm not saying that's what happened probably someone had a pc that cost like 10 grand and was like i'm running this at 100 oh my god g1 went down real fast so i don't know Either way, I was the type of topic. guy who kept trying to put in that not real nudie code in Mortal Kombat One. So we all did, Mike, and I, and I think I mentioned this on here before. My cousin, big asshole that he was, convinced me in Resident Evil One. <clears throat> so if you remember, if you open the front door when you first come in the mansion, you'd get the little animation of Cerberus. Mm -hmm. And after like so many tries, the Cerberus would actually come in the right. door. He convinced me if I tried to open it a hundred times, you actually get to go outside. 
So I sat there like an asshole and clicked it a hundred times. And yeah, you don't go outside. Spoiler, if you want to call it a spoiler. <laughs> so that's a good prank right there. Yeah. 